Can I climb up this mountain with the Polygon Siskiyou T6E mountain bike? Key questions to find out. Does the Polygon e-bike have enough power to carry me up? Will the tire grip be an issue with all the wet leaves? Can I clear all the obstacles while going uphill? And will my out of shape legs give out? So do you guys think I'm gonna make it? All right, let's go. So normally I take the much longer but way easier way up via the access roads. But with the Shimano EP6 motor, we get 250 watts of power. So I can't help but wonder if it's possible to climb up Cosmic Charlie, which is one of my favorite trails. All right, here we go, heading up Cosmic Charlie. It's a fairly long climb with a significant elevation change, but nothing crazy. Let's see if we can make it up this beast. And I have to watch out for other riders coming down, of course. Well, so far, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Just flying up this hill. Very, very little effort here. I'm in trail mode. Got some routes to navigate. So I have the T6E courtesy of Bikes Online, which is currently going for 3,500 US. This is unbelievable. Honestly, didn't expect it to be this easy. So other than Mountain Creek, which is in New Jersey, Port Jervis Watershed has the best downhill trails around the area for sure. This would be even easier at boost mode, of course. So just some basic specs for the T6E. It has the ALX aluminum trail frame. Travel, we're looking at 150 millimeters in the front and 140 millimeters in the rear via SR Suntour shocks, which are okay. So now the Shimano EP6 motor delivers 250 watts of power via a 504 watt hour battery located in the down tube here. All right, it's a little bit steeper here. Oh, hit a pedal. Pedal strike, pedal strike. Now this also has 29 inch wheels. I have the large version of the bike. The leaves are a little bit wet, but so far traction uh, has not been an issue at all. These Schwabi tires really do grip. Excellent. It's got a 10 speed drivetrain, so a couple of less gears than my T8. It does have large 203 millimeter four piston hydraulic brakes front and rear. Definitely one of the coolest things about an e-bike is that you can climb hills like this when you're out of shape like me. Had a downshift for this one, a little steep there. over the bridge. I haven't been on this trail yet this year, so. Looks a little bit different. Obviously going this direction is weird. Only ever gone the other way. And it also has a 170 millimeter dropper post which is awesome for when you're going down steep sections and off jumps and stuff like that. It's just really nice to be able to get that seat out of your way uh, when you're standing up on the bike in particular and you need to get low and stuff. Wow, not sure if I was gonna make that. That was pretty tough. All right, so I definitely got a little nervous on this drop. I thought I was going over the handlebars for a second. Never went in this direction before. What's up, man? How you doing? All right, just got a few more turns here, and then there's one more, like, really steep climb right at the end, which I'm curious if the 
tires are going to slip on. Let's find out. Here we go. Made it. Oh yeah. That was not bad at all. Still have full battery power. Probably only took about five minutes to get up, which is unbelievable. It's definitely a little bit winded, but considering how out of shape I am, it's not too bad. Pretty awesome view up here, right? All right, guys, I really appreciate you checking out my video. I will catch up with you later. Have a good day. Take care.